Ciao everyone, it's Alyssa coming at you with another slow fashion video. This week, I'm hoping it's not too early for this, but I am already going to my first holiday party. And so before kind of maybe rushing out and feeling panicked with what to wear and maybe making some not so great purchase decisions, I thought, let's take a look at our super essentials in our closet, especially if you're trying to build a capsule closet or a capsule wardrobe, you probably have a lot of these essentials already, and see if we can't, you know, zhuzh them up a little for the holidays. I honestly don't think this is just applicable to the holiday season or for people who celebrate the holidays. I think this can, this is a really fun exercise to do um, whenever you need to put together a more elevated or formal look. Quick interruption, I had a thought while I was filming these looks, but also I think that evening and more formal wear is something that we accumulate over the years and think we can only wear once, when in reality I think if we mix and match these pieces that we've accumulated with our basics, we can really get the most out of both what we've already purchased from an evening wear perspective and those closet essentials that we wear on the daily. Okay. Back to the bedroom sequence. Oh gosh, that sounds horrible. So for those of you who are new, welcome. Every week I talk about slow fashion with a heavy focus on the principles of minimalism. So using and loving what you already have and making smart shopping decisions so that you can create a closet full of pieces that you actually love and wear. So if that sounds like your jam, hit subscribe below. I post every Sunday. And for those of you coming back, big hello to you. Thank you for watching and for coming back. Let's jump right in. So I'm going to take my plain white tee, which by the way is from a, oh here it is, which by the way is from a company called Mott and Bow. So they've given me this t-shirt and I've worn it a couple times. I really like it. They focus only on minimal basics, which is great because we all need these in our closet. I like how it's a little bit see-through. I think this is what makes your classic white tee very sexy. I'm gonna be using it um, because it's just so soft and drapes really beautifully. So I'm going to take this and pair it with the most opposite thing I can find in my closet from a plain white t-shirt. I'm going to take this gold party skirt here. Um, I found this at Value Village for I think, oh boy, $9 or something ridiculous years ago. If you're a normal person and not a princess, then typically you may not attend formal events too often. So I think you can really stretch your formal wear when you buy separates rather than a dress. So I found this gold skirt and I'm going to wear it with this t-shirt. I also like the skirt because it's long. I tend to find the more elevated or formal you want to go, the longer hemline will really suit that occasion. Also, because I'm wearing a plain white t-shirt, I really want to add those small details that will finish the look. So I'm gonna add a belt, a really beautiful pump, a big pair of earrings, and obviously a little evening bag. Next, my favorite, a pair of denim jeans. These you would typically wear maybe to a more casual house party. If it's in someone's house, the first thing I do, even before thinking about the rest of my outfit, is I call the host and I ask them if I can even wear shoes in their house. I just, I never liked the idea of, of an outfit without shoes. I just, anyway. So find out what kind of footwear, if any, is acceptable to your host. If you can, however, I would definitely wear a beautiful feminine pump because this really elevates denim, just like this. The next thing I would do is add a belt. However, instead of going to your regular belts or thinking, oh great, now I have to go out and buy like a festive looking belt, whatever that means, I would actually head to your jewelry drawer and see if there are any long necklaces that you have that could work as a belt with your denim instead. This will instantly add a very unexpected touch of glam. So for example, I'm gonna take this necklace, which is like eons old, and I'm gonna wear this as my belt. If you don't have any necklaces that would suit this, you could even use a beautiful silk scarf. Next, because this is a more casual affair, I'm going to look for a fabric that is still a little bit more luxurious, but comfortable. So I'm just gonna take this nice simple blouse and I'm gonna tuck it all the way in. That's another little tiny tweak 
that I think does make a big difference in feeling a little bit more polished and put together in your look. And if you're still looking for something a little bit more interesting, I would add some major cozy vibes with a faux fur vest or it could even be like a fun interesting fuzzy scarf that you wear just draped around your neck i think adding that little layer of texture to your denim look can really make all the difference so that's kind of how i would dress up denim for the holidays i would also include a nice earring especially because you've got a more interesting belt with this look i think an interesting earring would be a little bit more balanced out when it comes to choosing the actual style of denim that you're going to wear, this is going to depend on what you like the most. But Mott and Bow, the company that sent me that cute little white t-shirt, denim is their bread and butter and they have a couple of different styles and I've actually been able to try and test out their mom jean style, which is the one I'm wearing today, which is like it's got all the benefits of a mom jean, like the nice high waist, the not super skinny silhouette, but it looks so much better than the actual thing. So I've been really impressed with their denim. Uh, they're made in a family-run facility in Honduras. They're mostly cotton, so they've got that nice stiffness, but they have a little bit of stretch to them as well. I know a lot of people always ask about where to find some good denim, and I have been testing these out. Um, and also, they have a program where if you're kind of in between sizes, like you're not sure about sizing, then they will send you two sizes and you keep the one that actually fits and send back the one that doesn't. So I really liked this. I'm wearing a 25, which is much smaller than what I would normally wear. Um, I'm normally like a 27 in denim, so I did have to size down. So if you're looking for denim, either for the holiday season or for the year ahead, um, definitely check these guys out. I'll leave the link below. For the sweater, uh, I'm just going to take sort of a simple v-neck, this is more like a boyfriend style fit sweater, but the key here I think is that I'm going for a monochromatic look. I'm really elevating this sweater and making it look richer than it actually is by going very sleek all one color. So I'm going to wear this with my nice navy culottes to create a really nice streamlined monochromatic look. I'm going to keep the navy train going all the way down to my feet just because I have a pair of navy pumps. Because I live in Canada, I'm going to wear a pair of black fishnet tights underneath this entire thing. So I'm going to use those fishnets and really make my earrings stand out. All right, the button-down shirt, normally reserved for your nine to five, Monday to Friday. However, how I would style it for the holidays is underneath whatever your absolute most favorite sparkly stunning shirt or dress is. Sequins have been a pretty big trend over the years, so it wouldn't surprise me if perhaps you have maybe a loud sequin dress or top that you're never quite certain how to wear. So. I would put your nice button-down collared shirt underneath something that is outrageously sparkly and metallic or feathered or beaded or whatever. Just see how that juxtaposition feels. I think it can actually be a lot of fun. This is definitely more of a preppy look, but I like it because it can be worn to work parties. It's also great for family gatherings. I would wear it with a really fun pump. And again, if you don't have to wear a stocking, then don't. But I'm gonna wear just a nice little sheer with polka dots. I would also pair a really fun pair of earrings with this look. That's how I would style my button-down shirt. I really think it's also a fun way to get some use out of those pieces that you've purchased that you don't know how to wear anymore. Next, your watch. Yes, most of us have a watch that we wear day in, day out, and instead of feeling like we wanna go out and buy a watch that is more festive or fancy or blingy looking for the holidays, I think we could just take the one we normally wear and add, instead of just one bracelet that you would typically wear with it, add a whole bunch, make it an arm party. And if you don't have a lot of bracelets, you can also find perhaps a really beautiful silk neckerchief that you already own and put your watch on top of that and create a little bit of layering on your wrist. I also think there are different ways that we can wear our typical traditional blazer. Instead of wearing it just over top of a camisole or a turtleneck or something, I would try belting it. I find a belted blazer does give a more formal air to any look, 
because what it's doing is it's creating a little bit more of an interesting silhouette. It also gives you the opportunity to use a really cool belt. What would I wear with my belted blazer? could be anything that you're comfortable with on the bottom. You could wear this over your favorite cocktail dress to give that a little bit of a twist, or you could wear it with just a nice pair of your favorite trousers. Your belted blazer can really work with a lot of things, and that's why I just love separates. I feel like I already said that, but you know. I've paired my belted blazer with my very old tulle skirt, which I bought years ago at Anthropology, and I've put those pieces together because the blazer is just so opposite of that crazy poofy skirt, but I've brought it all together with those black elements and kept accessories super minimal because there's a lot going on there. I hope you liked this video. I hope you found it useful. I hope it encourages you to play around in your closet this season before rushing out and buying something that is more of a panicked purchase than something that you truly love. Give this video a like, hit subscribe if you haven't already, and I will be back next week with another slow fashion video. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao!